Hey, Tom Hegna here. I'm driving across Iowa today, and I just thought I would spend a few minutes about some words and language you can use to better explain fees in an annuity, okay? Um, if you know, all my stuff is really about using the right words, language, questions, and stories. The first thing I would tell you is that remember that SPIAs and DIAs are not fee products, they are spread products, okay? So if you're guaranteed $1,000 a month for the rest of your life, guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get $1,000 a month for the rest of your life. Now people will say, yeah, but there's a one-time $300 policy fee. Yep, that's already in the $1,000 a month, okay? So there are zero ongoing fees in a lifetime income annuity, a SPIA or a DIA. Many uh, indexed annuities don't have fees. They might have surrender charges, but the reason that there are surrender charges is because the, the company needs to have the money there for enough years for them to offer the benefits and the higher rates that they would get if there was no surrender charge. But uh, let me let me give you some, some words and language to use. Like if you're talking about variable annuities or fees on income riders of indexed annuities, the first thing I say to clients is I say this, look, if I could retire on low fees, I guess low fees would matter. But last time I checked, I don't get to retire on low fees. You know what I get to retire on? Where can I make the most, lose the least after fees? That's called risk adjusted net return. I am far more interested in getting the highest risk adjusted net return than the lowest fee. The second thing you must do whenever you talk about fees is you've got to talk about market risk because there are only three things you can do with market risk. Number one, you can retain the market risk. You can put your money into a low fee product, Vanguard, Fidelity, and ETF, and if the market goes up, you get that. If the market goes down, you get that. You are retaining market risk. The second thing you can do is you can avoid market risk. You can go down to the bank, you can buy a CD, there's no market risk, but you're gonna get paid one or 2%. What is the third thing you can do with market risk? You can transfer some or all of the downside market risk to an insurance company for a fee. They're not gonna take your uh, market risk for no fee, okay? So you're transferring downside market risk for a fee. And if you think about it, most baby boomers should not have all their money in the market and they shouldn't have all their money in a CD. They should have it in that in-between place because you know what, I don't think I'm any different than any of your clients. Look, I've got enough money to retire today. I can retire today and I, and I very well might, okay? But if I've got enough money to retire, what is the absolute worst thing I could do? What is the worst thing I could do? Lose my money. That's the worst thing I can do. Can you imagine? I spend 30 or 40 years. I build up my career. I save. I invest. I do everything right. And then about six months before I retire, the market takes a dump and stays down for 15 or 20 years. That would be the worst thing I could do. And don't think for one second that this market could not go down for 10 or 15 or 20 years. It's been down in Japan for over 30 years. Now think about that poor Japanese guy who retired at age 65 and he was taught markets go up and down, but over time they always go up. That's what he was told. And now the market, he, he retired, the market crashed. He's now 95. The market has not recovered. How do you think his retirement was? Do you think it was stress-free? Do you think he had a fun retirement? I'll bet he died by about age 70 because of the stress and everything. And so look, when we talk to clients, see look, I don't think, again, I'm different than any of your clients. You know what I wanna do? I wanna make as much as I can make. If I can make 5%, 7%, 13%, 22%, 20 I wanna make as much as I can make, but more importantly, I don't wanna lose what I've already got. Well, guess what? Vanguard can't do that for me. Fidelity can't do that for me. Mr. Ken Fisher cannot do that for me. Only a life insurance company can guarantee that I'm not gonna lose all my money. Look, I personally own Dias, deferred income annuities. I personally own a couple indexed annuities and I personally own some variable annuities. They each have different places in my portfolio. But the other thing is I live in the state of Arizona. And you know, in the state of Arizona, all my money that's in life insurance and annuities is credit or protected. Look, I get in front of hundreds of thousands of people. There could be some wacko out there who tries to sue me. Well, guess what they're gonna get? They're gonna get nothing. They're gonna get nothing because my money is protected. And I think for your baby boomers, protecting wealth is more important at this point than getting that last extra one or 2%. So do not be afraid to discuss our products. Do not be afraid to go out there and show them why annuities are so important for baby boomers today and that managed money is not the way to go for the majority of the money. At least get them to move the bonds. All the research shows that you should be moving the bond portfolio over into some type of guaranteed lifetime income. And so don't tell me you're a fiduciary if you are not managing that longevity 
longevity risk and you are not guaranteeing that your clients are not gonna lose some money in that next market crash, because there will be one, and it's not about fees. It's about where can I make the most, lose the least after fees. For more information, go to TomHegna.com, click on the resources tab. I got a lot of free things. You can go to TomHegna.com forward slash webinar and get a lot more of my words, language, questions, and stories. Hopefully that was helpful for you today.